Point 15. Does the company have a management of unquestionable integrity? The management of a company is always far closer to its assets than is the stockholder. Without breaking any laws, the number of ways in which those in control can benefit themselves and their families at the expense of the ordinary stockholder is almost infinite. One way is to put themselves, to say nothing of their relatives or in-laws, on the payroll at salaries far above the normal worth of the work performed. Another is to own properties they sell or rent to the corporation at above market rates. Among smaller corporations, this is sometimes hard to detect, since controlling families or key officers at times buy and lease real estate to such companies not for purposes of unfair gain, but in a sincere desire to free limited working capital for other corporate purposes. Another method for insiders to enrich themselves is to get the corporation's vendors to sell through certain brokerage firms which perform little if any service for the brokerage commissions involved but which are owned by these same insiders and relatives or friends. Probably most costly of all to the investor is the abuse by insiders of their power of issuing common stock options. They can pervert this legitimate method of compensating able management by issuing to themselves amounts of stock far beyond what an unbiased outsider might judge to represent a fair reward for services performed. There is only one real protection against abuses like these. This is to confine investments to companies the managements of which have a highly developed sense of trusteeship and moral responsibility to their stockholders. This is a point concerning which the scuttlebutt method can be very helpful. Any investment may still be considered interesting if it falls down in regard to almost any other one of the 15 points which have now been covered, but rates an unusually high score in regard to all the rest. Regardless of how high the rating may be in all other matters, however, if there is a serious question of the lack of a strong management sense of trusteeship for stockholders, the investor should never seriously consider participating in such an enterprise.